viewers welcome civil engineers to my channel Hummer moon boy and uh, today I am going to show you uh, the what are the property modifiers and why should we use these property modifiers while uh, designing for concrete structure so this is very important and before that uh, let me tell you that I am going to uh, give you link uh, in the description below uh, for this playlist of uh, ETAPS 2015 so the new members who are coming to this video directly they can learn ETAPS from the first video from the opening first video to the all the tutorials uh, is present in this uh, playlist so you can find this playlist in the description below so let's start our video today Assalamualaikum welcome to Hamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you so in ETAPS 2016 version this is a new version 16.2 you can also design the slab so let us just create a new building and in this new building we will assign the property modifiers for concrete slab beam and columns so let us create a new model so I have to you I want to use user build settings SI units Indian and Indian IS code for concrete design okay so let us quickly create a building just I will set up uh, just the distances I will change 5 meter 4 meter 8 in the direction of X uh, 6 in the direction uh, vertically it is uh, 6 floor height let us provide some 3 and 2.8 meter at the bottom so I can do the custom story data and custom uh, grid spacing for this uh, for knowing how to do this uh, go to the my previous videos and also you can do this in the edit uh, menu so let us now just uh, go to the grid only and ok now my grid is ready you can see in the window 1 uh, the plan view and window 2 uh, the 3d view of my grid to switch off this horizon below this and that is uh, grid lines below the my building grids so you can just go to the tick button and you can switch off the horizon then it will be switched off so like that uh, you can go to edit and edit the grid systems and you can change the grid color modify here you can change the grid color also so let me pro put some grid color like dark colors so that it is visible properly to me okay this is pink color I am keeping just for view okay so like that uh, we can also modify all this grid system so that uh, we will see later let us go to define and give some material uh, Indian material just I will decide and de select the region India and here I will select concrete and uh, I will select uh, M20 or M25 concrete uh, here you can check whether it is M25 or not FCK is equals to M25 25 MPA so for 25 M25 and uh, you can change the name here and you can give your own 
concrete property here so you can also add a new material for rebar rebar is for reinforcement reinforcing bar hysd 500 is mostly used in hyderabad where i am living so here you can check the values for fy values so here we have hysd 500 now so i have given the materials in the defined materials just go to the section properties now now here you have the uh, frame sections so in the section properties already defined by the program few of the properties that I will be deleting um, by pressing the control button or just select all and delete so two will be remaining uh, you can you cannot delete that uh, so you can delete after creating your own property so what I will do is I will create a new property add new property I will add a concrete column and uh, here I can select my M25 column I will give the column name COL and the size name with the 230 by uh, 230 by let us take some 500 for column and uh, this is 500 is the depth and 230 is the width for my column so I have given this here you have the property modifiers currently it is set to default but you can change the property modifiers so why should we change the property modifiers for concrete and these things are given in um, CSI America I can uh, check this code book around I can go to this uh, here you have CSI America website in this uh, ETAPS uh, modeling in this new file it is available uh, here you can check So in this new file it is uh, said about all the modeling of concrete cracked section properties for building analysis uh, just I will open it in a PDF file so modeling and cracked analysis so this is how actual the actually the when the crack propagates uh, through the member so until unless uh, the crack uh, developed inside in the concrete uh, member goes and touches the reinforcement inside uh, the concrete which is present inside the um, inside the inside the reinforcement will actually start taking the load uh, so the call co concrete column or the concrete member start taking the load only when the crack develops so uh, because of this uh, you have to be follow uh, follow the uh, cracked section properties so for modifying the uh, properties and designing for the design actual correct design of a, a flexural member or the actual behavior of the member um, of a concrete member so for that you need to follow this uh, um, property modifiers so based on ACI code this is given ACI in the ACI 318 code uh, what are the crack modifiers for ETAPS so these are the modifiers for beam it is 0 0.35 uh, that is uh, for i22 and i33 you need to change if a uh, torsion uh, you want to neglect then uh, you can take 0 0.1 for torsion or 0 0.01 if you want to neglect uh, all the torsion and uh, for columns also like that if you want to link the torsion uh, for uh, single column or single beam you cannot neglect the torsion or for seismic analysis uh, you should not uh, uh, neglect the torsion so torsion coefficients are not mentioned here so ma mainly i22 and i33 is nothing but moment of inertia 22 and 33 you need to change for beam and for columns uh, for columns is 0 0.7 you can see and uh, for crack uh, walls cra uncracked and walls cracked walls walls uncracked is like shear wall so that is act as a column so you have to take f11 and f22 as 0 0.7 and uncracked you need to take the with the modifier 0 0.35 for the walls uncracked and for slabs you need to take uh, 0 0.25 for f11 and f22 f22 and f12 for membrane type of slab and for sh shell thin shell thick type of slab you need to co consider all these values as 0 0.25 so let us go to go back to etabs and see 
uh, whether uh, how to uh, give these values in e tabs uh, actually uh, for beams slabs walls and columns so this link i will be giving you in the description below so that you can go to this uh, e tabs uh, modeling for crack section you can go and you can check these values uh, for you so this will be in description so let us go to e tabs now here i i was giving the column property so i can go to modifiers property modifiers here and based on that i22 i33 i need to change as 0.7 and 0.7 as given in the code aci 318 uh, just now uh, so for this uh, you have to give the reinforcement values uh, here I am just uh, giving a uh, random values I am not going to design anything just uh, I am showing you the property modifiers so here I have given the column property I am deleting the other properties uh, which are extra is there already by the program so now I can uh, add a new property for beam concrete beam I am adding here I will write beam and uh, I will keep uh, the dimension as 230 uh, by 450 as the dimension and I'll select M25 concrete same and 450 is my depth and 230 is my width and you can here it is 0.35 and 0.35 if you want to neglect the torsion you can give 0.1 or 0.01 for the torsion here in beams which is not mentioned in the code but you can neglect the torsion if you want so for beam design uh, select the beam design only and m3 m3 give the cover as 25 mm let me take I'm taking 25 mm you can take from 20 to 30 mm any cover for the beam so this has been modified as beam now you can see uh, click on ok now, so now you can see that a beam and column has been defined click on ok so now I will be defining the slabs for you just to go to define section properties here you will be having um, the slab sections go to section properties here you will be having the slab sections go to that I am deleting the plank one property just slab one property I will go and modify this and here you can select the M20, M25 grid of slab and here you can select the slab name you can name it as uh, slab 120 120 mm thickness you give it 120 mm thickness you can change it to slab drop ripped or waffle that is doesn't mean here if you select membrane then you need to modify the modifiers uh, for it is given in the code like uh, you have seen already uh, you have to give f11 f22 and f12 values at as 0.25 for slab and otherwise uh, in other type of uh, slab you have to give so let me give a membrane slab first so for membrane slab these three values should be 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 and press on ok then I will uh, write it here M so that I understand that it is a membrane slab so I will add a copy of that I will just change it to I will just change it to shell thin because it uh, now I want to provide it as a two way slab or shell member so I can uh, take it as a okay all the membranes coefficients are set already modifiers are set just I will modify it for bending now because it is a shell type of uh, slab 0.25 okay set so uh, I have set the two slabs slab 1 and slab 120 for membrane so these two slabs are set like that you can set the modifiers for slabs also uh, now you can go for walls modifier so you can go to wall section section properties in the defined section properties wall sections you can modify the wall section already present there 
just uh, I will take M25 wall only shell thin it is a shell type you can go to modifiers and modify if it is a shear wall for it is a concrete wall so it is it will be a shear wall so for shear wall you need to provide the moment and shear for shear that is say F11 and F12 uh, based on that so let me see for walls cracked it is f11 and f22 uncracked and for cracked it is 0 0.35 so let us go to uh, etabs once again and change the values as um, for f11 and f22 as 0 0.7 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 here just click on ok and the wall thickness is uh, wall is set for the as a shear wall and for just general wall you can take it as 0 0.35 okay so it is all given uh, in this uh, PDF file uh, you can get the link in the description below thank you for watching this video and making up to the end uh, do like share and subscribe my channel and also share this video with your friends who are studying civil engineering and want to learn ETABS and for more uh, updates uh, on ETABS and other civil engineering softwares videos and other civil engineering stuffs uh, just subscribe my channel don't forget to share my channel link also to all the civil engineers in India thank you so much for watching bye bye Assalamu alaikum swagat hai aapka khamar moon boy channel mein aur ye raha aapke liye ek naya video agar aap chahte hai mein aapke liye aise hi achche achche videos banata jau to jal se jal is video ko like kar dijiye aur agar aapne ab tak mere channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to is lal button ko daba kar subscribe kar dijiye aur aapko agar notifications nahi mil rahe hai mere videos ke is bell icon ko dabaiye aur aapko mere videos ke notifications mil jayenge jab bhi main ek naya video dalunga apne channel par